Hi there, Libra. This is Carrie at Wooing Nature, bringing you your reading for right now in this moment. Um, I have been sharing with the other members of the Zodiac Wheel that I am not going to be doing monthly readings like this. I'm just going to go with the flow and see what the Spirit tells me. And if Spirit says, hey, go do Zodiac readings, then I'm doing them. And if Spirit don't tell me to do Zodiac readings, I'm not doing them. But Spirit led me to do these now, and it's been quite a few months since I've done them. I did stop because I wasn't feeling like, you know, it was um, in alignment with what I was really trying to, to who I am, and then, you know, what I was really trying to do. So, reel it back. You know, I appreciate the readings. I like doing the readings. I actually enjoy doing them, but sometimes it feels a little convoluted or it feels a little rote, you know, and that's not how spirit operates so spirit had to go and get me together and tell me hey wait a minute what are you supposed to do okay not everybody else on youtube what you supposed to do all right so what i'm going to do is just do a general reading we're going to let spirit speak this is not for a specific or an appointed well the vision is for an appointed time and in the end it will speak and will not lie that's what it says in the book of habakkuk okay I don't have my glasses. I only have these, so if I really need them, I'm going to have to put on some goggles, okay? So don't y'all laugh. All right, the first thing up here is the Page of Wands. There's a message trying to come through. There's something that's right in front of you that you're not seeing, or there is um, an opportunity that's presenting itself that you have to really examine and focus on. Um, you need to use your mental acuities. You need to keep your crown covered. You need to keep your ori covered. Okay, that's what I'm getting here. Also, um, I'm also getting that you need to, um, something about your wardrobe and your wardrobe representing who you are and, and reorganizing your wardrobe. Okay, so you might like that, Libra. I think you might have a good time with that. There is two of cups here. That means that there's a coming, to, uh, there's uh, people coming together. It could be a romantic relationship since it is cups. But cups can also be any kind of relationship where there is general feelings of care, respect, camaraderie, you're on the same page, that kind of thing. It makes you feel good. So why this hermit is coming up, I do not know. So we're going to keep looking and see what's, go see what's going on. The hermit usually represents a time when you need to steal away, find time to yourself, find time to, um, to clear your mind to get inwardly focused. Meditation is associated with the hermit, but it's not necessarily about being lonely, not unless the, the uh, cards around it reflect that. I'm working with some old cards and they shuffle weird, so I'm not gonna say weird, but you know. So we have the Empress here, which means that this is, you, you are tapped into um, your field of abundance. You are tapped into your field of abundance. Um, I'm seeing the Venus um, symbol here. So this is definitely about you, Libra, being in your, um, in a state of wealth in your mind, in your, in the, up here, not just in the physical, but up here too, because that's where it's most important. And then we're getting these wands again. So it's a lot of fire. There's a lot of fire um, associated with your reading. You know, um, I'm seeing this. I usually see Ace of Wands as, as opportunities. It's a it's a spark. It's a it's a, it's a strike of the match. It's the beginning of something that starts the fire that you know that warms your heart or that you know um, that um, moves you. You know. You know, it's about motivation. So you got to think about being motivated and the opportunities that are presenting themselves are giving you a chance to um, to gain your motivation, to get to see where your motivations lie as well. So I'm seeing joy. I'm seeing happiness for you right now. This is a good time for you. You shouldn't have uh, a care in the world um, at all. Um, so that's good. Nothing to complain about right now. I'm seeing you working on something, you know, you're working on building, um, building your coffers, building your, your, your energy. That's what it is. It's like building the energy, 
um, up because if you want things, if you are tapping into your empress power and you are asking for um, things, objects, um, opportunities, you're asking for things, you have to be able to have the capacity to receive it because it's easy to ask for something, but then when you get it, are you ready to receive it, right? So that's what you're doing now. You're building your momentum. And I think this is what this hermit is about, is um, making sure that you take that time to build up the energy, because if you're expending energy, expending it and expending it, you will not be able to hold the charge when the charge comes through. And see, this is a charge. That's that spark, that's that fire. Okay, so um, you have to be able to do that. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's what it's about. Building the energy, getting the energy up so that you can receive what is waiting for you on the other end. Okay, so this is about releasing it and letting go. This is letting go of um, anger. Anger, I thought they said danger, and then I thought they said stranger <laughs> at first <laughs> Oh, because I'm clairaudient, so it be coming through, but sometimes I'm going so fast, I don't hear. But at first, I thought they said letting go of strangers. <laughs> then I thought it was something else, but I think it's anger, anger, letting go of anger. So this is about letting go of anger for you. That's also going to give you the capacity. So that's why you're working on it. That's why you're spending this time alone with yourself to kind of gain momentum. Still good, still a great reading. All positives, you know. It's just a little little tweaking, that's all it is. Um, you're gaining your spiritual access, you're putting your, your spiritual life in order, that's a good thing. Um, aligning yourself with your, with your spirit, understanding your beliefs, feeling comfortable with your beliefs. For some of you, there's going to be a wedding coming or a um, commitment of some kind. This could be weddings, but it can also be other kinds of commitments, business commitments, anything where you are marrying yourself, your spirit power self to something, right? You're making a commitment of sorts. And so when you're making commitments, that's where this two of cups comes in, making sure that people are on the same accord, that they're equally yoked, that they're sharing equally and have, um, and, and nobody feels like they're giving more than the other person gives. Okay. Now I'm going to take a pause to say something about that because a lot of times we get into these terrible arguments with our relationship people. Um, and we're in the argument because somebody feels like they're giving more. I feel, you know, person A says they're doing all the giving in the relationship. Person B says, how could you say that? Because I do this, 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 and a third. And then the other person feels like they're giving or they may or may not, but the other person feel like they're the ones giving the most in the relationship. Well, guess what? This is all a matter of perspective and perception and perspective are very, um, it's, it's interesting perspective. Because your perception can change, which means that it's not something solid. It's not something that you want to put all your chips on at any time. Your perception of things, you do not need to put that much stake in it because it could change at any time, right? However, perception is an important part of living your life according to your truth because we're all evolving, so you have to act upon what you feel and know to be true in the moment. Even if it, after that moment is passed, you end up seeing something else to change your whole perspective. Because it could happen. It could happen. So don't attach too much to your perception, but don't ignore your perception either or your perspective. Because if you are, uh, if you do feel like you're giving too much in a relationship, you probably are, whether the other person feels that way or not. The other person could say, you ain't gave shit, but you know what you're giving and you can always say, well, this is what I feel that I am giving, but you got to communicate that. Because if you don't communicate that, how's somebody going to know? They're not going to know, okay? So you actually have to say that out loud to the person. I am giving this, this, this. These are the ways that I'm giving. And sometimes people don't know how they're giving because they're just giving, you know? They're so busy giving, they don't really, they ain't really thinking about it, which is really the hallmark of giving. 
is when you just give and you're not you're not expecting anything in return. You're not looking for the outcome. You're not looking for the end of the road. There's no, it's just, you just feel moved to do so. But the moment at which somebody told me this years ago, the moment at which you notice that you're giving, you're aware of your giving and you can say, hey, I'm giving a little bit too much. That's when you should stop because true giving, it's that's not a part of it. And if you think about it, things that you give freely, you ain't thinking about that. You ain't thinking about that. But let you give something and somebody doesn't respond like you want them to. I gave you this gift and you act like you didn't care. So now we not in a we in a different place, okay? So you just gotta um, you just gotta monitor that. You just gotta monitor that. But go, but don't don't distrust your feelings. Don't distrust your perception. Just acknowledge it. This is my perception, and you can say that too in the communication. My perception of the situation is that I am giving this, 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 this and a third. And you are sitting on the couch playing Russell. So that's why you have to, you know, get clear with yourself and then communicate that and then be and then allow the other person to have their their say. OK, so it looks like it might be a little bit of a relationship building time for you. Um, and, and let me say this, because right now, you know, I'm using romantic terms but like i said this isn't necessarily romantic it's anybody that you are emotionally connected to it could be your mother your child whoever when i'm saying these things and and i'm giving these scenarios and you like oh that's just like me and such and such then that's who i'm talking about with you that you and such and such <laughs> whoever such and such is it could be anybody but it's just it's just those people that we are emotionally tied to. And we do have emotional ties. This is part of life. You get rid of one, you're going to get another one. There it is. Okay. So this is you and some other people working together. Again, we're getting this work. This could be work relationships. I don't know. Could be a, a, a partnership or something that you're getting into with somebody else. We got a queen of swords here. Now, this might be you, but yeah, this is you. Queen of Swords is um, usually a female, could be female, but I'm going to talk about the female energy in just a minute because I know people be getting confused about female because we in the gender warfare, we in gender warfare, period. This is the period of gender warfare. Everybody about to fall out about their gender, okay? And, and, um, and uh, people shooting each other and killing each other. I'm not knocking it. Be who you are. I want you to be who you are because if you're not who you are, that's part of the problem. Okay? I ain't got nothing to do with that. But what I'm saying is that's the focus. I'm a sidebarring. All right. So this is you sitting in the cat bird seat. This is you giving direction. This is you being able to be a good decision maker. This is you carrying your scales of balance. This is you being objective. Okay. All right. And um, being in a place where you can listen and discern and make some decisions for yourself. That's really what this is. Okay. So no matter what your gender is, is, if this is something that's needed right now, then you need to embody the, your queen of swords. And if this is something you are doing, then keep doing it. Okay. Be your queen of swords self. All right. And there we have it. It's the world. It's, it's, it's all of the things that you've been wanting kind of all folded up together. Okay. Nothing bad in these cards at all. The only thing that's in here is just knowing that you're building your capacity. Okay. Remember that. You're building your comp capacity. You're sitting in your catbird seat, right? You're working with somebody or connecting with somebody. Where are we at? You're working with somebody or connecting with somebody or relating to somebody. This has to do with commitments and levels of commitment. And then, of course, communication. Because if you're in a committed relationship, communication is of the utmost in any relationship, short term, long, long term. Communication is of the utmost. But if you're in a long term relationship and a committed relationship with somebody, you got to be impeccable with your speech. OK, Libra, 
All right, that's all that I have for you right now at this time. If you would like to take a deeper dive, if you want to know a little bit more about what's going on in your personal life from a spiritual or from an energetic perspective, you can reach out to me. This is also to let you know that I am available to do um, Reiki sessions, so um, I'm resuming my Reiki. If anybody needs Reiki, distance Reiki, um, I do Reiki attunements for... Um, I do Reiki attunements, and then we also do Reiki for emotional issues. So if you have trauma um, um, that you're struggling with, depression, any kind of emotional stuff, we do Reiki for that. We can do Reiki for your pets. Yes, we can. If your pet is um, being a little bit splendiferous, <laughs> a little bit more than you need them to be and whatever, we need, might need to do a little energy work around the dog, little energy work around the hamster, you know, then we're happy to do that too. And then of course, for your physical ailments or anything else, don't hesitate to reach out. I'm glad to help. As always, I hope you have a great day and you're having a wonderful life.